sometimes people make compliments they, they think i'm i'm smart or, or clever in, in some way and it's it's nice to hear and sometimes i have people that think i'm stupid or they call me stupid or an idiot or uh, that's that's fine too I, I just think they don't know me i just i i know of myself like i mentioned earlier i'm not fast but i know i'm a hard worker mm -hmm. and and especially at work uh, i think give me any problem to solve and if it's solvable given enough time i will solve it um that means sometimes i have to do overtime or sometimes my my bosses are nice enough to go like yeah if it takes you some time just take whatever time you need to to try and get this to work and that's nice because not everybody has that luxury if you will but uh i i think i think i think people sabotage themselves sometimes and I certainly used to do that a long time ago. I always used to feel inferior to my coworkers, especially when I started working at EA because I'd go there and, and everybody that I worked with, to me, it seemed like, wow, they know everything. Like any problem I'd run into, I, I would sit in there for hours trying to debug it and figure out like, what else can I do? Because I'm not seeing it, I'm not understanding it. And then somebody would come by and say, oh yeah, it's that. I'm like, how did you know? He's like, yeah, I fixed this. I fixed something similar like, like last month, it's, it's that. It's like, oh, okay. How long did it take you? Oh, two days. I'm like, oof, okay. <laughs> Feeling less bad now. <laughs> <laughs> but but so at, at Blizzard, this was, was really interesting because I, I worked on a task at, at Blizzard and um, it, it was some feature that, that, I was, that I was working on. And to me, it seemed like it was taking forever. Like, I felt like, wow, I'm spending weeks on this. And I felt so bad. I'm like, oh, my God, they hire me and they're going to fire me now because they think I'm the biggest idiot on, on the planet. And and then I finished it. And one of my coworkers go like, wow, I can't believe you're already done with this. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, well, the guy that we had trying to do this before, we spent a year on it and couldn't get it to work. Oh, wow. I'm like, wow. He's like, oh, you only did it. I think it took me like a, a month or a month and a half. or so. I, I don't remember the exact, but but something like that. I was like, wow. And I'm sitting here every day going like, oh, no, I'm like the worst <laughs> engineer ever. <laughs> but, what a story. But it, yeah, but it's, but it's, it, it, that's stress, right? It, it gets to you and, 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 and it's, it's, I think it's human nature to compare yourself to other people. Especially if you're in, in a particular branch or if you work with your coworkers, it's it's hard not to compare yourself. And I think sometimes it's it's applicable to compare yourself because it's reasonable to make a direct comparison, but oftentimes it's not. Mm -hmm. And especially when, when you when you start a newer in the industry, it, it takes a minute to find your your groove, if you will, to kind of get get settled in and 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 be comfortable enough, have enough of a of a basic understanding in order to help yourself to, to solve things and, and, and get along and do well. You know, but, but you have to, you have to be patient. And like I said, everything comes down to effort. You now, if, if you want things to go faster, you know, then put in more effort. And for people like you and me, I, I think you have the same mentality as me that if you want to learn something, you could sit down mornings, days, nights, and just kind of grind it out. Right. Yes. But life doesn't like that. Mm -mm. You have responsibilities, you have chores, you have things that you have, especially if you're in a relationship, you have other obligations. If you have kids, you you can't just do that. So putting in an effort requires sacrifice. I was just going I was just, I was thinking that when you said it, I'm getting goosebumps. Go ahead. Sorry. That's... Yeah. And, <sighs> and, and you, you make, you, you literally make a choice. What is more important to you? Sitting down and watching a Netflix movie for two hours or sitting down and writing code for two hours to get better or sitting down and doing math exercises or physics exercises or, or, or spending time with your kid teaching them stuff versus like, ah, I'm tired. Just, you know, here, play on my phone for half an hour. You know, and, and, and people, you know, I don't like to use the word sacrifice. To me, a sacrifice is, okay, I want to do A, and I want to do B. I like to do both, but I can't. I make a sacrifice not doing B so I can do A. That's a sacrifice. If you're doing something because you want to or you're, you're responsible for it and not doing something that you don't care about, that's not a sacrifice. That's either you make the right choice or you make a poor choice. But at the end of the day, who determines what you do is, is the right choice or the wrong choice? It's you. You're, you're, you're beholden to yourself. And, and and if you spend 
a year watching TV and you look back or you reflect on the year that has passed, well, what have I done? And you feel that you're unhappy with it. You can't change the year that has gone by, but you can change the year that's coming. So make better choices for yourself. And the way I make decisions, I would say nine out of 10 times, when I, when I, when I think about doing something, I don't think about, I mean, obviously I consider how much work is involved, how much time, all those things, because they're, they're the, the, the facts of the thing that you're trying to do. But what I think about is, is how do I feel or how am I going to feel when it's done? And, and if it's something that I go like, wow, that would be awesome if I can say like, hey, I did this, that to me makes it worth it. That's my reward. So I will put in the effort to get that result. If I go like, oh, you know, I would put in all this effort and I really don't care about the result. It's meaningless to me then I'm probably not going to do it because the effort is not worth what you get out of it. Mm -hmm. But always try to think, because people are, are they're direct, right? You ask someone, oh, would you like this piece of chocolate? And the only thing I can think of is like, oh my God, that chocolate would taste so good right now. It's like the most delicious piece of candy ever. Just give me, give it to me right now, <laughs> right? But then you had it and you go like, ah, oh, you know, I already had this big lunch and I already had a piece of cake and... Oh, I really didn't need the chocolate. Now I feel bad because I didn't really need it, nor want it. I just kind of jumped on it at the moment. That's something that I do different in my life. I try to not jump on things because you feel like it with an impulse. I try to think about it. Well, how am I going to feel about this in half an hour or an hour? Or how am I going to feel about it after the fact? And if I think like, well, I'm not going to be happy about it, then don't do it. And, and, and a lot of it comes down to routines. You build routines for yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to go up and run every morning? And then you wake up in the morning and go like, oh, okay, I'll start tomorrow, not today. Well, how many tomorrows do they have to pass before you go like, okay, today I'm actually going to go out and do it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that right there is what makes the difference between people that accomplish things and people that don't. Now, they, they, it's, it's a very common saying where, where they say, the first step is always the hardest. Uh, it, it, it is in a lot of ways. But the first step is required to build a routine. And once you build a routine, things become easier because you do things, not because you have to think about it, you just do them. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like certain things in your life and you want to change them, put an effort to change your routines and a lot of things will just you know, fall into place. And, and again, I don't mean to sound like, like some internet weirdos. This, these are just things that, that I have learned throughout my life that, that tend to help me in, in doing things that I enjoy doing or help me feel rewarded with stuff in life or accomplish things. So. These are things that are true. These are things that are true. I agree. And the routines, I mean, to build a routine, it takes discipline. 